97% of us have searched online to find a local business. And when you do that in Google, that means that it's looking for something local. So when you search for restaurants near me, Google helps provide quality results because of your business's listing in Google My Business. Now, you may not know, but Google My Business, when you fill out all of the information that that platform has, then actually generates a website for you. So this is great for, you know, your trades or perhaps people in construction, uh, you know, soloists and entrepreneurs uh, that are uh, building out service, but they don't really need to pay for an entire website. Now, the caveat to that is that if you don't own and run your own website and something goes wrong with that system or Google changes that system, that website will disappear. You do not have total control over that website and that's been seen literally in the last 24 hours where people are like yeah it's all right i rely on facebook to get leads facebook went down for six or seven hours because they screwed something up with their domain name right whatsapp disappeared as well so if you run your business on those platforms you've got to consider that hit by a bus test anyway the point of this video is how do i remove that website if it is actually being published in google my business so i'm going to show you how to do that uh, so let's start by um, opening up business.google.com and then I'll come into the, uh, the system. And down on the left-hand side here, you'll see a website icon. And here you go. Here is that website. You can see this little green live dude on the top right-hand corner. Um, that will uh, show you whether it's live or not. And if it is, you can simply unpublish it by clicking on more here and then clicking unpublish website. That will take it off the web. Um, but once you've done that, once you've unpublished that website, Google will resort back to your normal domain name. Uh, so in the uh, info section of your business information, you'll need to make sure that you've got your correct domain name next to that little global thing. And if possible, always make sure that you've got an HTTPS in front of it as well. Okay, now once you've made those changes, you can see we've got a little thing that says, just make sure you confirm that. Um, so we'll hit the bottom here and confirm, and that will now all go through. And that means that the, the business listing in search, the one we were talking about, which appears on the right-hand side over here, this one now will uh, show the, the genuine website and not the Google My Business generated website to your users. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Duncan from 6.5. I'm a certified Google collaboration engineer. And you can find more about us at 65.com.au. Don't forget to watch some of our other videos. Cheers.